Welcome back, SEC. This morning, Peter Burns, Chris Doran. How about this uh, tweet? I've got obvious bias, but I'm clipping moments in time for the season. Top six, no order. Of course, Ben Chase been traveling all throughout the world of college football. Enter Sandman through West Virginia's first punt. Fourth quarter of Bama at Texas. The block PAT in New Orleans. I don't want to talk about that. Pick six to end it in Athens, Ohio. Pit six at Backyard Brawl and a pick to seal it in the swamp. So, you know, you have like these storm chasers. We've got a, a big game chaser, big uh, Ben Chase joining us here in SEC this morning. Second time he's made an appearance on the show in the month. That's I, right. <laughs> um, you know, because you joined us and we've got kind of like, you know, I've been watching the Weather Channel and like this is like your whole football road trip map that you have been on. So the goal right now, this is the first time you're seeing like yeah, how far you travel. Well, I haven't seen that graphic, but yeah, that is kind of crazy to put it in perspective. That's, I, before the, sh- the, the segment here, I ask him where he lives. He said in a van. So <laughs> in a van down by the river. Down by the river. That's, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, nuts. I, I, that's the first time I've seen the graphic, and, and it's mind blowing that, you know, on on Monday morning, I'll be driving to California. So this is the van, or what, what are we looking at? Yeah, right this here? is Betty White, and uh, Betty that's, White. this is kind of my very dirty setup. It was a lot cleaner the first time you guys saw me. Okay. And, uh, you know, I did a little B roll action for you guys to check out where I was. I literally woke up here, uh, you know, an hour from here. There's my little converter. Uh, yeah, that, that's that's where I'm sleeping. Uh, do you do you need a place to shower? Like, can uh, we help you yeah, out you with that? Like you, you can we hose you down? Yeah. You smell? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I um, I mean, I go to gyms all over the country, and uh, I've uh, I've had three. So since we've spoken, I've had three couches, three beds, and one of my friends donated ho- hotel points. Uh, he's like uh, an NIL person, and said, "Hey, like, I would love for you to just have a hotel on our company, uh, Athline." So he like gave me hotel points. So I've had. Seven nights not in my van out of like 30. How glorious are those nights? Uh, well, good. man, like I have so much room. I walked in here and I was like, man, there's so much room in here to just like spread out. <laughs> Do I, activities. Yeah, it's exactly. Great. So much room for activities. And uh, yeah, so it's it's been a blessing and kind of crazy. Uh, the road, no pun intended, that this is taken. So you see that watching us on SEC Network, Ben's trying to attend 60 college football games this season. Now that was that was the goal at the beginning of it. So you said I wanted to try to do 60. Now. Is there a record for this? Yeah, like, so there's so, two brothers in 2016 that did 50 together. Uh, okay. And, and uh, you know, I, I just said, I, I'll just do 60. Why not? Like, uh, why not add up? And uh, right now, actually, I'm on pace for more than 60. I was going to say, have you audible at all during the trip where you've made some plans? Yeah, so, I mean, literally this week. Really? I, uh, you know, the South Carolina game, I was there last night, and that was not on the schedule. Uh, but it was moved to Thursday, and I was in – where was I last? Columbus. So I just drove from Columbus to Columbia yeah. and uh, added that one. And then after this, I'm driving to uh, Murfreesboro to see, you know, the team that took down the Hurricanes. And then uh, Middle I'll be Tennessee in. State. They're even <laughs> fighting trash too. Did, yeah. By the way, did you hear the coach what he said yeah. this week? And he's like, "We got 1.5 million dollars, and they got 1.6 yards of carry." Yeah. Oh, that's okay. So Sorry, Joey Enza uh, back there who works with us. Uh, what What have you learned? Like, we, you, I know that you you see the Florida Gator stuff. You're a Florida fan, but watching college football all throughout this country so far, what have you kind of in, embraced a little bit more? Yeah. Uh, so I think what I've learned is, you know, no matter like where you're from, who you represent, your, your religion, skin color. Like if you're there in a community and, and being a part of that family, like they're going to be with you. And, and, you know, out of, you know, at the end of this week, I'll be at 19 games and I've only paid for four. Mm-hmm. So like people are just so welcoming and loving and everywhere I go, you know, like I told you last time, I have a rule. If someone offers me a drink, I have to take it. Like, here you go, Ben. Like, I want you to try these um, deep fried tequila shots. Uh, <laughs> I made them last night, you know, like, so I've had some like crazy cool opportunities, just meet people and, and, and learn their stories and, and learn the passion that they have uh, about college football. So what's the best tailgate scene you've been at so far? <sighs> oh man. Um, so I would say this the is most. This the SEC Network, by the way, so don't uh, don't slip so up. So, am I allowed to like say a team that's in, like a future <laughs> SEC team? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, in uh, Texas, there's this place called the Horn Bowl, and uh, it's they it's like a fully rented out area where you can buy tickets in advance, like forty or sixty dollars to get in, and they have. Uh, shot girls and the, there's like a shot ski where you can just in the stadium or no it's like stadium? outside the stadium okay, they right. had like a, a shot luge like one of the ice <laughs> luge things i think i sent a video to them about that's probably too much for the show uh, <laughs> uh but and then i mean i've been you know at virginia tech I, there was a great time there I, 
I mean, Florida has one of the best ones. Uh, it's called Harmonic Woods, so shout out them. I love them. They're actually probably half the reason I'm surviving is the people that are around that tailgate connecting me with other people. Harmonic Woods is like the, the group that tailgates outside the stadium in Florida? Yeah, so there's an area of UF called Harmonic Woods, and the tailgate is like they, – they're called the Harmonic Woods tailgate, and they go hard. Like they – I was there at you know 10 a.m. and they're doing this giant rage. I, I wish I should show the B-roll that, but I'll yeah. send it to you guys for sure. I want to see that. So what you you said that you have only paid for tickets four times. Alabama, Texas, one of those you had to pay. Yeah, Alabama, Texas. No, nobody was willing to gift you yeah. those. I would imagine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I mean that was like I got there. Well, I drove overnight from Missouri State, so I really didn't have time to do anything. And I had an interview uh, with the ABC affiliate in Austin, uh-huh. and uh, and so I kind of didn't really have time to like work it. Uh, and go up to tailgates, but yeah, that was that was two hundred dollars for that ticket, mm. but it was one hundred percent worth it. I was going to say, yeah, of all the games that have lived up to the hype, that's probably I would probably say maybe the best game that we've seen all season long, probably, as yeah. far as autumn. So, as far as what team, if you weren't a, a fan of the Florida Gators, is has there been an experience or a team that you watch and you're like, you know what, I'm adopting them it so far on over. this road trip? Because I always feel like, in, in as a college football fan, you should have your favorite team. Yours is Florida, mine's LSU, my wife's is Alabama, but we've always adopted like this secondary team. You're yeah. like, you know, like Kentucky, a foster like parent, we've done like, well, but not even like say outside of the footprint. Like for me, it's UTSA because I, I went to school there. Like, has there been one of the schools you're like, okay, this is my secondary school now? Oh. Oh my gosh. I mean, I could probably gush over Texas State for hours. San yeah, Marcus, the, Texas is incredible. Oh my by god. The way. They have probably the best in game experience I've seen. They had a petting zoo, a bounce house, a beer garden, a live concert after the game where you can just go on the field. And then I mean they have all the Texas traditions. So that's one of them. Is I that mean, Jake Spavital? Is I think Spavital is still the um the head coach over there. Uh, they used to be Southwest Texas, now they're Texas State. I don't know. Yeah. In right. San Marcos, Texas. And then uh, I mean Virginia Tech, the moment you walk in that stadium like on, on that tweet I said the one of the most special moments was from that you know enter Sandman until the first punt by West Virginia that was I mean on par I've been in Tiger Stadium I've been in Auburn for these electric moments that was man that was special mm-hmm. all right so I I'm interested in a couple different things like our our producer Luke uh, I got him I, I I didn't get buy him for him I, I made I charged him which I'm gonna uh, get him back for that but I, I did get him some tickets to uh, Tennessee he wore Kansas gear to the game like when you go to these games where Florida's not involved what do you wear and now as the the calendar changes are you prepared for more fall weather that's funny so I did tweet the other day like list of things I need moving forward it was like winter coat clear backpack winter coat and another winter coat so I'm, I'm like really getting into the winter and so i have a rule where every game i go to i buy a shirt and the hat of the home team and i go all in on the home team unless i think i put like five teams that i don't touch florida state lsu miami <laughs> tennessee and <laughs> no georgia goes. yeah so okay. like, like last night i wore south carolina gear and some people were like oh this is kind of weird i said i mean spur your must champ did it i I, yeah. can, I think i can pull it off uh, so that's kind of my rule. And then I give away the hats to people that have supported me on the road. I've, I've written 90 thank you notes uh, on this journey so far. And, you know, it, we've only been to 17 games. So I'll be writing a lot more, I, I hope. And, uh, uh, yeah, so that's kind of what I, the, the rule I do I, when I rock the team. PB, I, I, this guy's like an OnlyFans girl where he's got a wish list. <laughs> and he said people are like sending What's him only gear. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, no, I'm all about only vans. Only, only vans. vans. Only vans. <laughs> um, you got a wedding this weekend? Not yourself, but we'll no, give you the no, details no. here. I, I can, can't keep a girl for two weeks. Uh, I, um, yeah, so I have a wedding in Atlanta. And, uh, Wait a minute. You can't keep a girl for two weeks because all you do is live in a van and no, go no, watch college no, let's, football? Let's, let's, <laughs> let's, let's go a little like after dark here. Have you hooked up with any girls on the road? <laughs> uh, no comment. Uh, no comment. <laughs> uh, next question. So going back to the wedding, yeah, it's two Florida Gators uh, on Sunday in Atlanta. They are supposed to have their like pre-watch party on Saturday to watch the game. Uh, at like the Gator Bar in Atlanta, but now the game's on Sunday, like during their wedding. They mm. tried their best they could, but shout out to Oscar and Sophie. Are you a wait. fan of, of fall weddings or no? <sighs> no, I mean, it's it's tough. Like, I mean, I'm not going to get married in the fall if I ever get married, but uh, I'm definitely going to do like right around probably, I don't know, whatever she wants, but probably lean it towards fall like Fall weddings are not bad as long as you're getting married to another college football fan who understands, right? And so I, I married an Alabama fan and we got married when Alabama was playing Louisiana Monroe. We knew that that was going to be a, an easy win. And LSU was playing Syracuse. Uh, ultimately, it ended up being a, a, a pretty close game, but LSU won it. And that's fine. The problem is, is when you go to a fall wedding of non-college football fans because they're like, oh, let's go. And they don't understand how big the weekends are. 100%. So 
percent. These fans are co- Florida fans, so they're graduates of UF. Yeah, I okay. went. To, I was in the same business fraternity as them. So, okay. Yeah, actually, so that's one of three weddings this year, all on Sundays. I would say that two of the three are pretty big college football fans, and the other one it just is on Sunday in DC. So, Let me ask you. All right, go ahead. Sorry. No, 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 no. I was just gonna say, go ahead. I, go. I was gonna ask you, like, it, it's all great, like Thursday, Friday, Saturday. What is Tuesday like for you? No, that's a good question. So Tuesday, I wake up at 6 a.m. and I'm doing biz dev, trying to reach out to people, uh, writing thank you notes, editing videos. I'm way behind on videos. I, 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 I told someone the other day, I've fell asleep on FaceTime with my friend checking in on me. I fell asleep in a Wendy's drive through for like 30 seconds. <laughs> sir, this and, is a Wendy's. Yeah, sir, it's a Wendy's. And then they said, this is cash only. And I said, yeah, I'm out. Uh, so <laughs> like, uh, so during the week, you know, it's, it's just the other, the behind the scenes kind of things that I'm just trying to continue to survive and, and tell the story. So, do, you, do you have, like, is there like a group of fans at, at any school, like waiting for your arrival or like uh, knows about you uh, impending trip there? Uh, I get DMs and messages every few days just, hey, we would love for you to come here. Like, I, I know um, some of my friends at Arizona where I live in Tucson are, mm-hmm. can't wait to come back. Uh, you know, Kansas is one of them. Ben, you got to come to Kansas. So I have, I have a few people that are chomping at the bit uh, mm-hmm. to, to have me come through. All right. Last thing for those who want to help you on the journey as far as, you know, get, sliding into the DMs and yeah, and, and getting into the only vans uh, wish list. <laughs> what, what is it? Yeah. I mean, you can just find me on uh, Twitter, Instagram at Ben G Chase, Ben for G Gator Chase. It's pretty easy to find. And if you want to watch YouTube, Ben Chase 60 is the YouTube channel. Uh, I'm way behind on videos, but I appreciate you guys having me on. And Dude, you're the best. We, we, we checked in with you at the beginning of the season yep. here at the last day of September. Uh, game you're most looking forward to in October? Ooh, uh, Say LSU, Florida. Come on. You know that's going to be the one. I mean, I so I'm not going to any more Florida games, I told you, until they go you know, 10-2 and, and and they're in the SEC championship. I would, going, going forward, I mean, I'm going to uh, L.A. next week for uh, some games, and I'm going back to San Diego State. So, oh, man. I can't. I, 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 I can't tell you. I don't know. What don't game? Know. What game is in LA? Uh, I'm what, going what? to the UCLA games. Uh, oh, they're gonna have a fan. Yeah, 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 yeah. you're gonna get mini free tickets. And that'll be the, that'll be uh, the first game of two on that day. So yeah. I'm going from UCLA to San Diego State. Oh, so nice. Two, uh, that'll Double be my header. third twofer of uh, the trip. It's gonna be awesome. Ben, congratulations. This I can talk. To, I, I like got questions oh. galore for this. Dude. No, well, well, hopefully actually, next time you can. Uh, I'll be uh, able to come back and you can ask a million more. Well, Ben G Chase over on Twitter. We'll take more your phone calls, more your tweets coming up. Talking week five, Ben. Thank you, sir. Thanks, guys. Go Gators. This is SEC this morning.